Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? We have another Jada 20th anniversary wave one. This is the third video, and it's going to be the 2003 Nissan 350Z from Option D. All right, so. Jada 20th anniversary. If you guys haven't already, we did the first two videos. There's going to be four videos of this wave one. And this one is the third. All right. So just a little explanation on the back of the box. You're going to see option D. It does have a little bit of information about the series. And then, of course, the tiles you get if you buy every single um, vehicle from the 20th anniversary, you get to display it and come up with a picture. All right, so option D. Inspired by the drifting scene in 2004, option D produced high quality replica import vehicles while capturing the authentic style and graphics of the drift circuit vehicles. And as you guys know from my videos, I do like my imports. Uh, as for the option D, I didn't really collect too many of them. And now I know they are going up in price. But here it is. This is the 350Z. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy opened up and take a closer look at it. Alrighty guys, and we are back. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. Alright, item number 31071. 31071. And I know on the other 350Zs that I did videos on, the item number was not on the bottom. And again, it's not. So they use the generic bottom for all of these. It has a generic item number. My wheels is coming off. Let's get these things fixed. <laughs> They're all coming off. Man, this thing was drifting hard. The wheels are about to come off. All right. <clears throat> all right. I don't want to sound too repetitive in these videos. But here is the checklist you get at the bottom. There's going to be wave one, two, three, four, and five. This is wave one, the third video. So video one was the Tahoe. Video two was the Impala. Video three, here is the Nissan. And then the next video is going to be that sidestep. All right, let's take a look at this one. All right. All right, so it has, this whole front end is molded die cast. This insert down there is plastic. 
It's got the Nissan logo in the front, the um, darkened lenses for the headlights, and then this orange top and the gray side. Now with all of these 20th anniversary, they're gonna be this bare metal themed cars and they do clear it. So it's not 100% bare metal. They do put a clear coat on it to kind of give it a little bit of a shine and that way I don't think die cast will rust or anything, but they do put a clear on it. All right now these have this awesome orange wheel and the tires do say 20th anniversary which is kind of cool there is your nissan logo there is the jada 20th anniversary logo and then it's got the number 20 on the door side mirrors are that rubbery plastic with the reflection take a look at the inside the only thing I will say about these 20th anniversary, I'm a little bit upset. You know, going 20 years strong, like, they should have gave us a little more detail. Like, give us two-tone color seats or, you know, put some orange in the on the steering wheel or something. Like, all the old import tuners and Option D, like, super detailed. But these, they're, they're just plain in my, you know, in my opinion little bit of a back window there and this one has like the wide body kit I think all these 350 Z's are the same I know I did DK and then I did another one. Oh, the JDM tuners one and these bodies are identical right going to the back they put the 20th anniversary for the license plate it's got chrome tips for the exhaust the spoiler back here is plastic it's got the Nissan 350Z and the Nissan logo and take a look at the inside see even in here like the older ones these were chrome and the bar was painted like the same color as the body orange or something but they just do all black what do you guys think do you guys like the older versions where they put the more details or you just like the plain look at least this one's not damaged like my other one <laughs> okay same smoked window and this one does say Option D, Drift, Show, and Street logo. And here is the other side. Passenger side, PlayStation. Like the PlayStation remote, they could have colored. Or there's a NOS bottle in the middle. They could have put it as chrome. I don't know. I just think for 20 years, they could have made these models so much better. All right. Under the hood all chrome with a black strut bar and a black intake so I guess the chrome I get the chrome what do you guys like better all chrome or do you like the black with the accent colors because that's what I like but if you're a fan of Jada if you're a fan of import tuners or option D or anything like that it is a good car to have to your collection. All right, and then here is the badging. So it's got the Option D logo, the Jada 20th logo, and then we did determine that this number here is when Jada debuted this set. So Option D got debuted in 2014. Do you guys have any of these models? Like I said, I back then I really wasn't collecting too much. I have a few. I might have a Skyline and other stuff like that, but I know they did make a whole bunch of these RX-7s, all that kind of stuff. Especially if you're into the whole drift theme. But, here we go guys, this was video three. So if you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew, and then hit that bell notification. That way you guys will get notified when I put up the new videos. If you guys are new to this challenge, challenge, <laughs> if you guys are new to this channel, let me know what you guys like to see. I do a lot of import, a lot of Fast and the Furious. Um, 
like I said, for this year, we are definitely going to be getting all of these um, 20th anniversary cars. So if you want to see the rest, definitely make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. And I will be putting, or it's probably up already, there is a picture of the checklist on my Facebook or Instagram. That way you can see what will be coming up next. That last series, JDM Tuners, Fast and the Furious, Dub City. They are going to be some cool cars. There's the Import Racer. See all those Import Racers back in the day too, man. They were so detailed. But there is video three. Stay tuned for video four, which will be the last car of this wave. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again everybody and have a great day.